Greg! Frick! Okay, so this is Greg Bissonette. Anybody that's been watching this channel knows that because Greg has been on my channel two times before. You just won a huge award. Well, it's the Modern Drummer Readers Poll. I remember back in 1986 when I was with David Lee Roth, I won Best Up and Coming. And in 2015, the studio session won. But I, the one I'd always hoped for and I never thought I'd get, I won Best All Around in the Modern Drummer Readers Poll this year. What a huge honor, Rick. What is the best way to familiarize? Like, what's something you like to do to, to actually practice different styles of music? So what I like to do is take songs. It can be any song, but songs have form. You four bar phrases, eight bar phrases, 12 bar phrases, 16, 24. When you play, beats or fills as a drummer, play to the form and play to the groove. So right now I'm gonna take a song that Rick and I love by Wayne Shorter called Speak No Evil. There's a 14 bar A section, another 14 bar A section, an eight bar B section, and a 14 bar A section. I'll start by playing some kind of funk like Steve Jordan, David Garibaldi, some of my heroes, James Brown, and we'll go like that. So let's roll this, here we go.
that was fun, man. When you're playing the form of the tune, you're always singing the melody, right? Always. That's how you keep track of where you are. Hey, absolutely. So what are the things that make these styles that give it the characteristics that you're looking for? All the lessons I've taken from the masters like Tony Williams or David Garibaldi or Jimmy Branley, Afro-Cuban, they point you to the songs that they loved mm -hmm. growing up and learning. And they've all said, try to play in that style and try to copy things, but then eventually you won't be playing things you've copied, you'll be playing your own version of it. When you're going between these styles, though, what are you thinking about? Okay. Like, how does Alex Van Halen, how do you shift into that? What are you thinking for that, if you're Perfect. playing that? That Latin straight, sw uh, straight, led better to the Alex Van Halen Hot for Teacher, or Billy Cobham, Quadrant Four, like this. They're kind of both swinging, you know? Right. And the Latin thing kind of led me into the Alex Van Halen thing, which is kind of Gene Krupa over double bass. And Louis Belson was the first guy I ever heard play double bass in 1946 on Duke Ellington's Skin Deep. He played double bass drums, but all these styles are connected. And if you want to learn how to swing, listen to ZZ Top, Frank Beard. <laughs> Kind of like, and a Texas shuffle. That's another whole style, Stevie Ray. And I played with Joe Bonamassa a couple weeks ago, and we did a Texas shuffle that was so so much fun. And so Texas shuffles, ZZ Top, Billy Cobham Spectrum, Hot for Teacher, and Swing, they're all connected. You said something so great before we started. I said, yeah, a lot of musician friends of mine um, and students of mine, they don't, they don't know how to get great at different styles. And you said they don't like They don't like styles. different styles. You gotta like it first, right? right. You gotta like the music, the songs. Right. I gotta admit, I'm not the biggest, like, ooh, ooh, death metal vocal guy, you know? It sounds like the Cookie Monster to me. The but drummer. you play metal. And I love you, it. You're, you know. <laughs> and I love Thomas Hawke with Meshuggah. So I practice to that. I'm not a big, you know, uh, super, uh, dark hip hop vocal lyric content guy, but I sure love the beats and the things I hear Chris Dave do and you know, all kinds of Questlove and Anderson Pack and so many drummers, great. And, and would you say that you don't even have to love something to be good at it or to want to be good at it and want to understand it? I would say so, absolutely. Okay, so just to break it down, let's break it down easier than a 14 bar form. Let's yeah. do an even, even number of bars, yeah, yeah. Uh, eight or 16 bars. And then let's say you, you take four different genres yeah. and you practice between them, Yeah. okay? Yeah. So why don't we do a little bit of soul vaccination and do a little bit of train beat and do a little bit of reggae, <laughs> shall we? Do it. Let's start with soul vaccination. The great David Garibaldi, one of the greatest teachers I've ever had and a great friend, dear friend. And sing the song to yourself first. Soul vaccination all across the nation. That's four. That's four. Reggae. Afro Cuban. So, 
That's so much fun to me. Okay, know? what are you singing during each of those? I was singing one, two, three. So vaccination all across the nation. So vaccination. That's four. Repeat it. So vaccination all across the nation. So vaccination. And then I think I went to Willie Nelson on the road again. One, two, three. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. My whole life is making music with my friends. Oh, I can't wait to get on the road again. Two, three, four. I made it an eight-bar phrase, and then I shot the sheriff. I went into Bob Marley. Now, Greg, were you thinking ahead of time what you're going to go into? <laughs> because you mentioned that, I loved I loved the challenge. I was trying to think. Okay, going to some, going to a reggae tune. I thought about Roxanne. I thought about Message in a Bottle or Walking on the Moon or some Bob Marley stuff. One Love. I went. Okay, I shot the sheriff. But, but Greg, you always are singing songs. When you always, do it. always, it's always Rick. play into a song. That's what keeps the form. That's how you know how to play phrases. That's how you know how to play phrases. And Tony Williams talked about that in lessons a lot. He said, just try for an exercise, playing a four bar phrase and stopping on beat three of the fourth bar. A one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two, stop. A one, and you put a little breath in there. Yeah. And those breaths are so cool. You could stop on one of the fourth bar. In any style and then stop. Pop, and those breaths, you string two four bar phrases together, an eight bar phrase or 16 bar phrase, and those breaths are so important yeah. because it gives the listener a chance to, wow. And then the other thing to me that's fun about when you're playing in different styles and working on maybe soloing over different styles, try repetition. When you heard, you know, Max Roach, he didn't just go, <laughs> He went and did it again. Beethoven, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. Hmm, I'll do it again. Ba 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 ba. And how about at the end, the recapitulation? Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Dude, I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning of the piece. So Max would repeat things, and that that whole thing about making the listener be able to identify by hearing things they've heard before, but you change it around a little differently. I mean, you're the master of knowing all about this stuff, whether it's guitar or keyboards or anything. So I love the fact that we're getting to tell people about this because a lot of drummers especially, they just don't really love, like you said, playing different styles. So Greg, if they want to learn some of these things, they can always go to your YouTube channel. Oh, thank you, Rick. Which is, which is what, Greg? At, it's at Greg, G-R-E-G-G, -G, drums, D-R-U-M-S, at Greg Drums. And Rick inspired me. The first show I did here when we talked and didn't play, you said, you've got a YouTube channel. And I said, I do? Because I set it up so long ago and I forgot about it. And he said, you should be doing this. And so because of you, and we have become such great friends. I think the world of you. Well, you I, didn't, have, I didn't pay Greg to say this No, either. I just want to say it because I love you, man. I, I really, appreciate it, Greg. I really respect you. You're a class act. Man. I appreciate it. You are. I'd like to thank Greg for being my guest again. Don't forget to hit subscribe here on my Rick Beato 2 channel and also on Greg's at Greg Drums YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.